Hey everyone, this is Jason from EskimoTV.net. I did not plan to do a video, as you can tell, I look like crazy. But uh, I just needed to say I feel so bad for everyone that traveled out to attend the When We Were Young Festival. If you haven't heard, the festival was canceled today, Saturday, October the 22nd, due to weather. Uh, in a statement from the When We Were Young Twitter page, it says that organizers uh, have spent the last several days proactively preparing the festival grounds for a windy Saturday. The National Weather Service has now upgraded their Saturday forecast to a high wind warning, including dangerous 30 to 40 miles per hour sustained winds with potential 60 miles per hour gust. Under inv advisement of the National Weather Service and the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. We have no other choice than to cancel today's When We Were Young Festival. The safety of our fans, artists, and staff will always be our top priority. This was not a decision that came lightly. We know that many of you have traveled to the area to have a spectacular day with your favorite bands and have been looking forward to this day for months. We were equally as excited and are devastated to have to share this news. Ticket holders who purchase their tickets directly through the festival's ticketing company, Front Gate Tickets, for Saturday, October 22nd, when we were young festival, will receive a refund in as little as 30 days to the original form of payment. According to the National Weather Service, Saturday's weather looks sunny without, or I'm sorry, Sunday's weather looks sunny without any wind advisories. When we were young's additional dates, including Sunday, October 23rd, and Saturday, October 29th, are moving forward accordingly. So, I think that is so sad, and I mean, I had debated about going to this festival myself, and uh, I feel terrible for all the people that went, but on my end, I'm like, oh gosh, thank goodness I didn't buy tickets, get an airplane, get a hotel, uh, that's got to be a huge bummer, especially if people were only going for this date. Um, hopefully they can find a way to get a ticket for tomorrow's date if that really is going to be a green light uh, to go forward with that. But I, uh, <laughs> man, I, I, I feel so sad and hope that the festival will, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's kind of hard for the festival with its resources to provide refunds to everyone for their flights and for their hotel. I just don't think they have the means to do that, and it's not necessarily their fault either. Hopefully, if those of y'all that purchased uh, airplane tickets, I don't know if maybe you bought an insurance, that'll maybe help you out, but it really does stink, and I hope that tomorrow will go forward, as they're saying, and that you will be able to see some bands and see some of those uh, uh, moments you were looking forward to. And it's crazy that this is the first weekend of the festival, and it was those high ticket prices, um, or sales, I should say, that prompted the next weekend's festival. And one of the two days is out off the off the schedule so anyways um that is the latest news for the when we were young festival um uh, i hope um uh, those y'all that paid to go uh can recoup from this de definitely a devastation uh despite it being awful i'm not there I, I can't actually see how the weather it is but if it truly is as bad as they're saying it is a good thing that they're opting on the side of safety for all of the people that would have been involved if it really is windy and stuff on the stage started flying everywhere i can only imagine that people would have gotten hurt and if they had gone through with the festival knowing that something really bad could have happened and didn't cancel it then i think this would have been a other flipped conversation where people tell the festival well you knew that it was going to be windy why'd you cancel so i feel really bad it's really uh not anyone's fault other than just mother nature but um let me know how everyone's doing if you're there i'm so sorry my condolences but uh you will recoup from this hopefully i mean maybe you can see some of these bands in the future they're not going away and um 
I, I know that that doesn't make it better. People have been looking forward to this for such a long time now. But uh, anyways, that's the latest news. I typically don't do film festival coverage, but I just thought that this was absolutely crazy. This is a festival that I was jealous of the people that were being able to go. And now that it's being canceled, uh, I'm pretty saddened by that. But anyways, let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below. And uh, if uh, you want to give this video a like, subscribe. I typically uh, do movie related news reviews. Uh, would love to see you guys on my more hopefully upbeat videos. Um, and we can go from there. Uh, you can also check out my website, EskimoTV.net. Thank you all so much for checking this video out. And once again, I'm so sorry for all of y'all that have impacted, have been impacted uh, by this day one cancellation. My name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net. I'll see you guys later.